This video demonstrates how to populate PDF forms from data files using the AutoMail Merge plugin for Adobe Acrobat. We use AutoMail Merge to populate a single form template with data to produce multiple personalized PDF documents. Begin with the template PDF form and the data source file. The data is used to fill the template form, generating one PDF document for every data record. Sample use cases include filling out government forms, generating invoices or statements, personalizing newsletters, or producing mailing labels. File prerequisites are template PDF forms or a spreadsheet or database file. Software prerequisites are Adobe Acrobat standard or Pro installed on your computer and the Auto Mail Merge plugin by Evermap. How it works. One or more data records are used to populate a single output PDF form. What is the output? AutoMail Merge generates multiple personalized PDF forms, a single compound. PDF file can optionally be generated. You can email the output PDF forms and you can optionally print each output PDF file. PDF form has fillable fields. Any PDF document can be converted into a form by adding fields The workflow consists of getting a template PDF document, adding form fields if necessary, preparing a data file, and lastly, running the mail merge. To prepare a PDF form, open a template PDF document in Adobe Acrobat. Here, as an example, let's assume we are trying to fill diploma forms for school students. First, Open the PDF form you want to edit. Now click on All Tools at the top left-hand corner of your screen and then click on View More and prepare a form. Now, ensure that the Auto Detect Form field feature is disabled. Do this by clicking on the Change button above the Create Form button, then ensure that the Automatically Detect Form Fields box is unticked. Now click on the Create Form button to continue. Now click on the Text Field button at the top left-hand corner of your screen. You can now click and drag in any location on the PDF form to create a text field. Now right-click on the Created field and click on the Properties button. Then click on the General tab in the Text Field Properties window. Here you can edit the name of the text field as well as other common properties. Give the field a meaningful name. Now click on the Appearance tab. Here you can edit the font size, the font style, and the text color, as well as the appearance of borders. Now repeat the procedure for every field you need to add. Make sure to make the field an appropriate size. Once again, click on the Properties menu. Remember that you can access the properties of any field at any time. Click on the General tab, and once again, remember to make the field name informative, because we will use the field names later on in the mail merge. Again, select your desired font size and font type in the Appearance tab. All created fields will be shown on the right-hand side of your screen. If a text field needs to hold multiple lines of text, navigate to the Options tab in the Text Field Properties window, then check the multi-line box. If the text field does not need to hold multiple lines of text, leave the box unchecked. Now, repeat the same procedure for the remaining fields you need to add. Once again, remember to make the field an appropriate size. Again, click on the Properties button and then navigate to the General tab in the Text Field Properties window and give the field 
a meaningful name. Click on the Appearance tab and select your desired font size, font style, and color. Now click on the Options tab and tick the multi-line box if the text field needs to hold multiple lines of text. Click on the menu icon on the left-hand side corner of the screen and save the PDF form. Now open the PDF form you have just created. Click on the blue boxes to input your desired text. The text will have the properties you have selected in each text field. We are going to use this sample Excel spreadsheet in the mail merge process. Ensure that the first data row contains field names. Click on the menu icon in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Now click on the plugins menu. Click on the mail merge menu. Click on the edit settings button in the mail merge window. Now click on the Browse button. Now select a data type you want to use for your mail merge. In my case, I will use the Microsoft Excel worksheet data type. Click on the OK button. Now open the data file you want to use for the mail merge. Click on the OK button. Now click on the Guess Mapping button so that the software will automatically select field correspondence based on the field names. Now click on Next. Click on Next again. Now click on the arrow under the base file name and a list of options will appear. Click on the Nothing option. Click on the arrow under Insert Before and choose what field attribute you want to use in the output file name. Now click on Next in the remaining windows. Click on Finish. Click on OK. And lastly, click on the Run Mail Merge button to execute the mail merge operation. Click on OK. The mail merge has been completed. Populated PDF forms have been properly named and placed into the output folder. There is one PDF file for each data record. This tutorial shows the most straightforward mail merge operation. There are many processing options that can be used to produce different kind of output files. Visit evermap.com for more PDF software solutions.